There's a little monkey chilling. Check it out. So all the crowds got here from the cruise ships, so your best best try to get here right when it opens up is to avoid the crowds, if that's not your thing. Um, and there you go. The site's pretty cool. I'm going to go cruise around the outskirts on the other little uh, exhibits and show you a little bit as we go. All right, there you go. See, this is cool. I don't cruise where the no, mo most tourists do. Go back here, check it out. No idea what this is back here. But it's out of the sun. Because, hey, it's really hot here, by the way. Oh, let's see where this goes. Anyway, this is like the far end over here. Uh, no tourists are over here. They all go up on the main restored area. This is like pretty unrestored to say the least. Uh, anyway, there you go. I'll show you as I go to the other side. All right. So we're going to go to a little zone where I don't think any of the tourists really go because I don't even think they pay attention to it because um, they're more concerned about the uh, fortress over here. But I think there's a really great view on the top. So I'm going to go up and check it out. Show you as I get up, All right? Yeah, so just like I thought, killer view. So yeah, at the top of this little zone, uh, <laughs> the views are pretty cool. They're much 360 degrees all the way around. Um, anyway, like I said, they're going to bring the tourist up here. It's this little grass trail that leads up. So anyway, there you go. Some more info for you. All right. I'm going to go cruise to the other side now. Path down there. Bet I could get to it too. Road to nowhere. Somewhere. Wow. Blue. Blue. That's cool. Total echo. Anyway, there you go. The ordnance storage area. Hey, right, here's the end, end point on the cannon. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to hike back up in a little bit. I think the rains are coming in, so hopefully I don't get dumped on. And uh, there we go. Like I said, it's a little bit of a hike, so you're not going to find any tourists down here. and takes a lot longer than you probably would have time if you're with a tour group. So if you're on your own, check it all out. Like I said, it's just a bunch of old buildings and stuff, but it's still kind of cool. All right, uh, that's it. Show you as I go. 
gonna see if my car can make it through this shit. Hopefully it does, because if not, I'm totally fucked. Up to this little uh, sugarcane ruin. So I just pulled off the road randomly. Probably in somebody's backyard for all I know. It's kind of cool. Old sugar plantation windmill. Anyway, I'm in the fucking middle of nowhere on the other side of the island. I said I'm probably in somebody's backyard, so somebody will come out and yell at me in a second. Uh, anyway, there you go. Just random spots along the drive. So there's one road that goes around the town, the whole island, and then there's like little offshoot little towns as you get there. All right, there you go. So the drivers are crazy here. They just blow by you like 60 miles an hour. So I just stopped along the road because it looked cool to take pictures. So anyway, there you go. I'm going to try to get to the end of the island and check it out before the sun sets. Alright, later. sides over here and then the Caribbean's on this side which is kind of a trip and so it's obviously rougher on the Atlantic side than it is on the Caribbean side because that's the leeward side of the islands the Caribbean side so anyway there's some more info for you you drive up this little road basically and there's a little stopping zone to just take photos and shit like that so anyway uh, pretty cool all right I will show you more as I go peace